Flashing a wood-framed chimney is like flashing a dormer, except there's no roof behind it. Without protection back there, water can leak into the joint and rot your walls. In order to direct water out of the connection, make a cricket to slope away. Frame the little roof with 2x4s and sheath it. Below the chimney, use peel and stick to flash the roof to wall joints, making sure to overlap the upper pieces over the lower pieces. Cover the cricket with peel and stick membrane too. Now, the roofing underlayment or felt paper can be installed. Fold the underlayment up the chimney wall higher than the step flashing will be. As you work your way up the roof, cut the shingle course around the lower edge of the chimney. Lay a bead of roofing cement on the shingle along the front edge of the chimney and another little bead in the lower corner where the two flashings will overlap. Bed the base flashing into the big bead and overlap the lower piece of step flashing. Shingle over the step flashing and continue to weave the step flashing and shingles to the upper edge of the chimney. The top piece of step flashing folds around the chimney. Crickets with a slope of at least 412 can be covered with shingles. Low slope crickets should be covered with a metal cap. The cut corners should be covered with patches and soldered into place. The metal cover caps the cricket and peel and stick membrane seals the top edges. Roof underlayment can then proceed up the roof and shingles can be run up the valleys of the cricket. House wrap can then be installed over the step flashing. When you install siding, make sure to keep it off the roof at least two inches. This will keep it free of debris so water runs down your roof and into the gutter.